Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do our early uh, builds for the MLB slate for this evening. Uh, note that it starts at 6.07 p.m., and then it's kind of a staggered start. We'll sort of know what happens in the first game before having to lock everything into the second, or at least very, very close to it. And again, I think in theory, uh, it indicates that you should probably uh, lean towards the late game, and that just applies for all sports with late swap, not particularly this, this evening's slate. Um, so what we're doing now is, again, even though it's early, we're going to do an early Saber Sim uh, contest Sim build, again, just to get used to how the, the process works. Um, now, the good news is for this particular slate, I don't anticipate too many changes because the lineups projected are probably going to be the lineups that we get. But uh, we shall see. Um, so, again, this is just the process. Now, I did do a couple of things in preparation for this. Uh, first of all, I did put the contest sim settings in. Uh, we are going to be playing the relay throw and the perfect game, although I misspelled perfect game. I'm going to have to change that so that my OCD does not dominate the proceedings. So you'll see in the perfect game, I allocated the high stakes MME default settings for what field lineups to compare our, our, our lineups to. Um, we put the contest size at 170, which is what DraftKings lobby is showing. 20% for first, 20% of entries paid, and we're going to run 50,000 sims. That's for the uh, for the perfect game. We're going to put one line up in that. Um, the other one is the relay throw. And just to remind everybody, we're using the flagship MME builds to compare our lineups to. The contest size rates to be 7,843 7, people. That's just taken from the DraftKings lobby. 25% for first, 20% entries paid, and we're going to run 50,000 sims there. So the rest we're gonna do live um, without preparation. So we're gonna first upload the custom projections from TrueDFS. I keep these again offline uh, in its own file. So it's gonna be a little bit different uh, process, but nonetheless, it's the same thing. Upload everything to here. We're gonna exclude unlisted players and we are gonna have everything loaded. So first thing we're gonna do is we are just going to run these and we're only going to play 30 lineups. I don't want to play 50 lineups in a two-game slate. So we'll play 30 lineups today. And so we'll put in build settings, 30 lineups. We'll run 5,000 with no mins, no maximums, no nothing. Okay? Um, and no other rules. So we'll build those live. And again, we're building the pool of 50,000, or excuse me, 5,000. So if we want to tweak stuff after the creation of the builds, we can do it. And don't, you know, it's going to pull from the entire pool of 5,000 to get to the 30 that we need. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. You do see Atlanta and the Dodgers with the higher team totals. Um, but you have the higher upside pitchers on the other side. So you have Wheeler and Dallin are probably, we think they're the two highest upside pitchers, but actually, the Dodger pitcher Bobby Miller does have actually uh, does have a higher strikeout prop than Zach Gallen, which is very uh, surprising to me. So, um, Dodger coming off that drubbing uh, in Game One, um, and you know how I love to play teams off the drubbing and play against teams off the you know uh, that that did the drubbing. So I'm inclined to play the Dodgers here in general. So just instinctively, maybe something like. I don't know, Bobby Green and the Dodgers will make some sense. And it also lets me play the, you know, the late game, which is what I want to do, you know, for, for late swap purposes. Like if things aren't going my way based on the early game, I could, you know, I could screw around later where if I load up on the early game, uh, it's, you know, there's nothing to screw around with. Things aren't going your way. You can't, you can't, you know, you can't make informational adjustments. Okay. So uh, this lineup build, is just, you know, just regular straight Saber Sim ranked by Saber score lineups, which are good. But again, we're trying to just be a little more precise here and, and use the contest sim. So just so you know, what we get here are basically, well, I'm getting a bunch of five threes and four fours. And the majority of them are actually a hundred percent Philly in Arizona. Okay. So that's an interesting observation. Now let's run the contest sims. And we'll, I'd like to, I like, you know, I like to see the change in what happens after you run the contest sims versus when you just use the regular Saber score rank lineups. So this is interesting. So they, they really, I wonder if, if, if we get off of this 
Arizona, Philly, once we, you know, be more specific about what type of contests these lineups are playing. I'm imagining we will. Well, let's just see. All right, so it's done. Let's see how we're doing in the relay throw. Relay throw. We're going to – I don't know whether to rank by ROI or risk-adjusted ROI. Just let's use risk-adjusted ROI. And you see that things do change. So now you're getting more of a spread out, you know, bit of ownership in the stacks, uh, which which certainly makes a little bit of sense. Um, uh, what is interesting is that you're not getting a lot of, you know, you're getting a lot of purity. You know, you're not getting too many, if any, hitters against pitchers, even though we're allowing it, which is, I guess, sort of interesting. Um, we have a couple, but not not – you know that many like here we have one but it's not as many as i would have thought All right, so nonetheless so now we're going to apply these to the contest but before we do that we're going to change the uniques to min two i don't think you have to do that on a such a short slate but i'm doing it anyway and now we're just going to attach these to the lineups that we need so first let's download the our raw lineup uh our template from DraftKings because we pre-entered at least something put it in here now we're going to assign these tournaments or these lineups to the relay throw and you see here that thing jiggled so that means it did some changes and now what we're going to do is going to pick our perfect game lineup and again ra risk adjusted roi we only need one and so this is the one we'll use for that for now we will put that in the perfect game Save to contests, and we should be good to go, like 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 right away. So let's it's a free pub for daily MMA fantasy. Uh, let's go uh, up uploading lineups. We will upload entries. We already save this to the download file, and perfect, almost perfect. So now we can go see what they look like here. Not that makes oh it did not change see I, I screwed up again see what i forgot to do i'm the worst one of these days i'm going to do it perfectly and it's so easy does anybody see what i did wrong i know what i did wrong go back to the beginning i mean after we want to assign our lineups we have them all built already relay throw raroi we want to apply these but oh wait it should have worked actually Why did this not work? I did the builds. Why is it not edit entries, upload entries? Oh, because I never, oh, I know, because I never, never saved it. Oh, uh, there you go. One of these days, I'm going to get this right. Now I should be good. Okay. Now we go look. One of these days. So now it's all set to go. All right. So as you see, uh, when you do uh, your straight builds without adjusting for contest sims, you might end up with a little bit too much uh, Arizona and Philly. Um, but when you adjust for your contests, you're going to get a little more spread out ownership, which certainly makes some sense. So that'll do it for your, your your daily early build. And once again, one day we'll get a perfect uh, perfect process. Just uh, so just older than than I think. I am. Uh, that'll do it. Uh, I will see you guys a little later for the live stream.